So I've just popped out the shed. Uh, Dad's just headed out the lane with the tractor. He's taking the loader off. He is going over next door, which is the field over that way. Um, that is all cut. My finger won't get there. Um, there are neighbours. They are doing their silage today. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, the forage is all going in the background. Um, I would think they're up over this way at the minute. Um, Dad's gone to help them for the day be on trailers. Um, so he took off the loader, he's finished his mowing for the morning and he's gone over with them. I was, hope I was hoping I was going to see them, but I'm not. Um, I am in cleaning out the shed at the minute. So we are slowly, slowly getting there. We need everything to be cleaned out ready for silage because um we well we clean this piece out always and we just like to clean this bit and the silage put together so nothing runs onto it so i am currently just here at the double doors so i've done all that back piece i've still got the other side at the back there to do um and then we've got the silage pit got the tractor just parked in it that one's all fixed now dad had the ac man come out to do all the gassing and everything um, so that's done and the new, it was an AC pump, not a bell, new pump's been put on and that's all fine and ready to go. Um, the bales are all there, the bales will get moved when we start silaging and unfortunately my cows came in and decided to walk all up there and shit everywhere. So I've got to clean that down, only, a, you know, wash it down just to get all that out. So we're going to get going and do a little bit more here today. busy day yesterday he went over next door draying so he used our tractor and their trailer and he went draying because uh, they're doing their silage um, I cleaned out a lot of the silage pit and everything so that's nearly ready it's just the outside that we've got to do to finish it off and then we'll be ready for silage um, today's a busy day dad's going on draying again um, I'm going over to turn the grass that dad's got down let that lift up we'll see how that do the outsides might have to go to silage Hopefully Dad's hoping the rest of it will come to hay. It's meant to be a really nice week, so we'll just have to wait and see. So I am just leaving the farm with Telena. Um, Dad told me not to rush over because he doesn't want it. He wants it to have a bit of sun and things this morning. So we're in the Sammy Silva. Let's get over there. Today, um. the grass has been 
turning really well. It's looking pretty dry. There's an odd green lump coming up in it every now and then, but other than that, it is pretty good. popped over to see how granddad's doing with uh, helping the neighbours and here he comes here he comes Kaylee's at granddad it's not granddad yeah it is can you wave can you wave to granddad So we're back to it, day three. Um, I got Rusty with me today. <laughs> this is the first time she's been in the tractor with me. She's been out with my partner Simon quite a lot. She went as a puppy in the tractor. Um, so we're turning again. At the minute we haven't got any green spots coming up. size pit and the cubicles again. Uh, Bex has washed down the whole front here. We've just got this little bit here along these railings to do. Bex has had to put the extension hose on the pressure washer uh, because we were informed that um, our pressure washer, um, we used to plug into an extension lead and it kept blowing the fuses. So we were always told never to plug it into an extension lead but because of that we needed an extra long power cord and an extra long uh, cord for the pressure washer. <laughs> so we've been doing that. Um, so yeah, Becca's washed down all the front. I'm just doing here by the gate, so I've got a little strip here by the barriers to do.
just leaving home to head to the farm. I've got the trailer on. <laughs> Let's face it, I don't do normal trailer stuff on my own. I'm normally following someone, traveling with someone. So, let's get to the farm safe and sound. So we made it to the farm. Nice and easy. Um, just, just as an FYI for anyone that's wondering why I'm wearing leggings when it's going to be so warm today. Um, me and Dad have got to go inject a calf. Um, he's a bit stiffy in his legs. So we've been injecting him for the last five days. Um, with some stuff the vet gave us to help him. Um, and there's a lot of thistles and singing else. And I've put shorts on today. I am not being stunned. <laughs> Right, we've had breakfast, we've done the calf, Dad showed off a few sheep whilst it was still fairly cool this morning. Um, Mum and Kim have got Kaylee for the day, um, because she can't come with me unfortunately as much as she would love to. Um, they've also got Rusty because it's going to be too hot in the tractor and I'm going to be gone majority of the day anyway. Dad's gone raking to rake up what we've been turning over Moorgate and I am going turning now the fields that Dad cut yesterday. So. We'll get in, we'll get going, make sure we've got fuel. Let's hit the road. Just got to the field. Just had to give a helping hand for my string. We're gonna get in and we're gonna start this field. So, we're on it again. Dad's growing up. I was meant to send Dad with a GoPro today to try and get him some footage so that I could just set it up, press it going, he wouldn't have to worry about it. Unfortunately, I forgot, and just to make matters worse, all my GoPro batteries are dead. <laughs> um, I buy several, um, and then when one's in use, one can be charging. Uh, makes things a lot easier. Um, unfortunately, I have not been successful with my GoPros. I don't use them enough, um, and the batteries don't hold. Um, they're quite old now. I bought them. Um, five years ago so um back to the good old trusty phone um obviously yesterday and today you can see i'm wearing headphones um and, and on tuesday um simply because our radio in this tractor does not work um dan has been talking to me about getting a new one um <laughs> i just haven't got to it um so simple and so quick to do the actual fitting of it will probably be fun. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, I'm gonna try and get one ordered tonight, hopefully be here over the weekend. Hopefully by the time we go again Monday, it will be all up and working and ready. Uh, Monday we are shearing, so taking a step away. All the fields that I've been raking uh, this past week, uh, that dad's gone to row up now today, that's been bailed this afternoon. Um, so we'll have some bales to bring in at some point. Um, not quite sure how long Dad wants to leave them out or if he's planning to leave them out. Um, so, yeah. Just been messing around with the telegraph pole. <laughs> really annoys me. Um, I try and kick it out from all the way around it just so that when we come to rowing up, you can try and get better straighter lines. You then don't have a line that's just dead ends. Um, so I do a bit of playing around to try and kick it away and then turn it up again. So hopefully it'll be all right. Um, I am really curious. Um, so I want to ask anyone watching or those that have subscribed to me, um, if I do, I do a video a week is what I try and do, put everything that goes on in a week into one video, try and make it as short and enjoyable as I can. Is that too much? Is it too much to have a whole week in one video? Would people actually prefer to have uh, maybe shorter videos, maybe two a week or something like that, where you can have them, um, you know, one through the week, one at the weekend kind of thing. Um, I'm, just, I'm just interested, I'd like to know you know what people would like to see and things um the whole point i'm doing this is trying to get farming more publicized there is so many people doing it um and i decided that actually i would too um you know there's not many places moorland wise uh, in the uk that share their story and their farm 
um, and I decided I wanted to. So it would be really nice to get everyone's feedback and see actually what you want to see and if you want to see, you know, two videos a week or more or less or, you know, let me know. All folded up, so I to feel done. Just under an hour by the time I got here. So, time to get on the road and get to the next field. So we're at the next field, we're all folded out. It's a lot of a lighter crop, a lot lighter. So it shouldn't need very much. We've just got down to Bira. It is, I don't know, that clock's wrong. It's 20 past one. Actually, that one's not so far out. It's 20 past one. We've just got down to Bira. I've just stopped to have a quick drink gonna crack on and get this one finished and get home. So this will get square baled. Um, we have um, we have a four string come in and do it. Um, so yeah he always loves to come down here and do this field for us. So we'll get the outside round done and then we'll get on and get the middle done. So whilst we're turning we can look over at the sheep. They look very warm. A lot of them are in under all the trees. I just noticed two yours there walking down to the stream. They're the group that we sheared last week, the week before. I think it was last week we sheared them off. So we're all finished, done, all packed up, ready to go. Just put my boots back on. <laughs> um, time to get going, head back to the farm.